welcome to my channel. It's done now. Continuing with my Moyu London plates, I am on B, and the next one is Back to the Future. This is more of a cartoony looking character plate, which was not my first preference, but it's what I got. And this is what we're going to work with. So they didn't have the um, other ones left that weren't so cartoonish. But I still think they're really fun. They're really cute. So I figured I'd give it a try. My husband is back to the future. Got my little picture sheet here. And as you can see, I haven't painted my nails yet because I was trying to decide what I was gonna do with them. And I was kind of gonna do some like super fun colors. And I'm kind of looking at my born pretty colors. Give me one second. I don't know, I'm just I'm just picking out a bunch of random main colors to start with. And just kind of go for it. I'm just trying to see how I'm gonna do it. Y'all know I usually use gel polish so that if I make a mistake, I can wipe it off. But that's not what I'm doing today. And I'm also wearing gloves because I have on regular nail polish and with no gel protecting it. So when I touch the acetone, which I'm gonna end up doing, I'll end up rolling it. This one I'm gonna to dry. I'm sorry, I'm knocking things around. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just painting nails different colors to work with. This red's kind of thick. Sometimes I forget when I'm using <laughs> stamping polish how fast it dries. Fast enough to start getting tacky quickly, but not fast enough to like not mess it up and touch it. Oh. I'm just kind of going by like the main color scheme and the, and the title it was the 80s. So a lot of primary colors really. This yellow is pretty opaque. That one might need two coats. I 
I might save the blue for another nail. I'm not sure. I can always come back and add color over the top of white if I don't want a white base, but right now I want white. I have the hardest time working with gloves on. And these are, these gloves are really thick. They're kind of coming off. So if these tips look like really unnatural sizes or really big for the fingers they on, it's probably true. I tend to use the ones that are left over and um, I mean, I don't wear my own press-ons, so but I still save what would be my sizes in case I do, which is, I guess, kind of weird, but I, um, I use all the ones that would never fit me. Just in case. Looks good. I'm gonna do a quick second layer over that red. That red is really nice. I don't know if I've ever used this one. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I, ugh, I'm using Born Pretty today. And I have two of the exact same sets of Born Pretty Polish, but they're actually named different, but they're the same thing. I'll show. Same color, but when I bought one, it was called the Vitality Series, and then it's BPTV806. This one is called the Encounter Series BPTE19. So two different collection names, but the only difference is that one of the sets came with additional metallics that the first set didn't come with. Like, I guess it was the Encounter Series came with some of the shimmery metallics and the vitality series did not but they're all exactly the same which is weird i don't know why i don't know why they do what they do oh, here's the two reds exactly the same reds but name two different things But that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying it. I Their polishes do work pretty well. They actually work pretty well as a base. I, I don't know if I've ever used them like that before. Because I don't usually use stamping polish as my base. I usually do gel so that when I make a mistake, I don't have to wipe it off. Which is probably going to happen. So... With that being said, 
I'm gonna slap a top, a gel top coat on because I will mess this up. I think I had wanted to do a second coat of white on this one because it has some clear patches, but. It's not the end of the world. So sometimes I have people ask me why I don't, um, why I'm always just doing practice nails that, or why I'm doing nails that I'm not doing on myself or that I'm going to wear. And the answer is practice. This is, this is how I practice what I'm doing and see what works, you know, um, some ideas work like design ideas or techniques uh some don't and this is how i figure that out i just happen to record record it to share and some of those do get shared some of those don't um i'm trying to provide videos with less editing um not that there's anything wrong with it but it's super time consuming but sometimes I have interruptions or other reasons why I I need to edit it out and sometimes things just don't go as planned and while I am a proponent of keeping a lot of my mistakes and oopsies in my videos, uh, there are days where the entire thing is an oopsie and there's nothing to show. Like there's no progress. There's no, there's no anything. It's me making a mess, spilling stuff, knocking things over, cursing, and just nothing works. I have days where I can sit down and think I have something great and it goes to shit pretty quickly. And to me, that's still practice. It's worth something to me, but not everybody needs to see every failure or success. Or sometimes I don't film my best work. And then there's times where I do film it. And I'll be honest, I just can't be asked to do anything about it. Edit, upload it, write descriptions, whatever. So anyway, it's my channel. I decide what I'm going to post. If anybody left me any comments and were interested in providing suggestions, I would definitely take that to heart and consideration if it was in my ability to do so. I'm going to go ahead and pop these in the lamp and get them cured and see how that goes. Alrighty, these are cured, so let's see what we're going to do. this ruby gem color would look like over that red. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work, and this is why we test things out. Testing.
I thought it would give like that kind of monochrome look. But I think it's too, it's too similar. And this is why I did a gel top coat. So now I can just wipe it off and not ruin my base. Did I not cure it? That wiped right off. Interesting. That's weird. That's super weird. Anybody out there watch Reginald the Vampire? <laughs> it's uh, it's I'm um, behind, so I'm just I'm catching up on the last season, and I just think it's hilarious. I love it. It's one of my favorite shows right now. All right, so change of plans. Let's do something else because that didn't work. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I got that up there. Let's see if I can get that off real quick. Piece of tape.
to Scientist. Oh my god, I can't believe I don't know his name. It's like evading me. I'm not reverse stamping. Because I'm trying to make this series a little bit quicker than others. I do want dock over it, but it was too, it wasn't in the right place. I was like, it's the wrong way, but it was me. we're gonna do Marty I think of course I picked the black that's running out having one of those days where not everything is going to plan just meaning like I'm I'm just ooh, discombobulating things are just weird and I wish I'd have did that in white I don't know why I did that in black The plan when I was looking at it was to do it in white and put it on the red and that is not what I did because like I said sometimes you just have a day. the problem but I couldn't find what else I want in. Alright so I want some orange in here. I'm 
think this is totally random, but we're gonna have an orange clock. I think I'm gonna make this like a collage. There's the clock. And then I don't know about this yellow for stamping. It seems kind of thin. Yeah, hold on, I didn't do that very good. Okay, that worked a lot better. It's still kind of thin though. Banana. And then we're gonna do the skateboard. I kind of wanted to do one more thing. I don't really like the banana as much because it's too light, not enough contrast. the hearts. Trying to make it kind of graffiti-ish. You know, be in the 80s and all. Oh, 
right. One more. Let's see how we're going to do this one. So some of the um, MoU London plates don't pick up so well. I did a video on that, but this one for the movie plate, um, works really well. And the burnt born pretty polish. I've heard people say that they um they don't find they pick up as well, but uh I don't have an issue with them picking up. I think they pick up just fine for me. And I've I heard it in multiple places, but I even had a comment on a YouTube video recently saying that somebody finds they don't oh my god, it stuck to me. That they don't find they work that well. And I was surprised because uh some of them can be a little runny, like this yellow. Um can be a little bit runnier, but I still think it works pretty well. I'm trying to like strategically place them in the words and stuff so that it's kind of a layered look. All right, I'm gonna add my smudge-free top coat that I've been saying forever is ooey and gooey.
I know a lot of times I finish them off with a gel top coat. If you're using a regular gel no wipe top coat, um, so far in my experience, it doesn't smudge. But you can see I have like gooey strings. That's because my you no know, my smudge free top coat is old. Um, it is raining really hard all of a sudden. So if you hear the really loud noise, that's what that is. Um, anyway, if you use a regular no wipe gel top coat, usually you won't smudge your stamping. However, even if, in my experience, if I use a gel matte top coat before applying a no smudge top coat, it does streak. Oh, that's so gooey. So I really want the, to mat these. Um, they just seem like they should be matted. I don't know, 80s kind of graffiti look just seems like it should be matted. I'm trying to give my top coat a shake. I wonder if I could put nail polish thinner in it. I mean, I know you can with polish, but I don't know how that would affect the top coat, the, um, the way it works. God, that's so bad. okay when it dries I'm trying to like get big globs of it I mean, they're cute, shiny. I don't know. I just feel like um, matte will look better. So I'm going to let these fully, 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 fully dry. And then I will come back and put on a matte top coat. And hopefully that works. Okay, so I think it's dried enough, maybe. So I'm going to go in with my Mani Allergy matte top coat. And see how this works. Me and Matt Top Coat have a love hate relationship. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, I'm putting it on very thick because when I'm not so generous. I have all of these weird missed areas that don't look right. So hopefully that doesn't wrinkle. Right, not gel, gotta quit wiping. One of my bad habits. Wipe and wipe and wipe. I feel like this one's too dark for this set, but. Just gotta go with them.
so it's dry and you can see that and I just like the way that kind of graffiti looks once it's dry so the red I wish I'd have done the outline in white like I planned so things I would change about this uh, I would have reverse stamped and filled in the letters with another color oh my goodness I just touched it and also the stars are cute but I would have preferred them to be layered so do like a black outline with the yellow in the middle that would have been cuter and again I would have reverse stamped and colored in those letters this one I should have stamped with white because there's not enough contrast especially because it makes it not go with the other ones I really like my Biff now. I think that one came out pretty cute. I like the dock now. However, I would have moved down a little bit the image of him so it's more in line with like Biff. And I probably would have reverse stamped dock and did the picture of the dock like all in white. Just for something different, super basic. And I still really like my graffiti, except for the yellow. You can't even tell that that's a banana peel. It just looks like a yellow something that's not a banana. And then you can see the yellow is not very opaque, so it doesn't layer very well. But I still like the graffiti look. Yeah. Overall, I'm happy with the result. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe so you get notified of future uploads until next time bye thanks for watching